it may not look like much from the outside. In fact, if it weren't for the many rows of balconies, it would look more like a large yacht than a cruise liner. But when you take a look on the inside, it becomes apparent that the Lostral caters to a very exclusive class of passenger. In fact, only 264 of them fit on board, and Compagnie du Bonin targets a mature yet adventurous client keen to explore the most remote places on Earth. Well, we have an uh, international uh, clientele. Of course, these ships are uh, uh, five-star uh, cruise ship. Uh, we have only a maximum passenger capacity of 240, so we are a small uh, luxury uh, cruise ship, uh, mainly doing uh, expedition cruise, cruise, uh, cruises. Uh, in the winter, we are based in, uh, we are in Antarctica, and then in the, in the summer, we are going uh, sailing the, the Arctic, uh, Greenland, and Northwest Passage mainly. Antarctica sounds like uh, uh, quite an unusual place for a cruise destination. Uh, does it have uh, a lot of take-up? Yes, it's an amazing, amazing destination. It's really uh, popping, up, popping up this last couple of years. Uh, a big success because there is so much to see. There are a lot of wildlife. It's so much uh, a remote destination. So it's very, very big success. We are uh, fully booked uh, every year and uh, people have to book uh, three years in advance. Uh, very challenging cruises as well on, uh, for the navigation uh, and uh, we have uh, this ship are uh, ice class uh, vessel and uh, all the officers are trained for uh, sailing uh, in icy water but amazing destination Antarctica, uh, uh, Falkland Islands and uh, South Georgia as well. The Lostral is a green ship because it visits some very protected areas of the planet all waste and pollution is kept on board. Expeditions to shore are carried out with a fleet of zodiac ribs each one of them with a nature expert on board who serves as a conservationist and a tour guide. The visit to Gibraltar is a first for the ship, but not for the company. We are now repositioning from uh, Antarctica to the, to the north, to the Arctic, and, and every year uh, when we reposition, we, we make some stopovers here in, uh, in Europe. Uh, so uh, this year we have chosen Gibraltar because every year we are changing our itineraries. I think there is a, a lot of interest for our guests to, to pass by and visit here. Some are uh, doing some cultural visits today. Of course, some are uh, on top of the rock at this time. Last year we had an excellent uh, season for tourism in particular for cruise ship calls and this year we're building on that and we will have uh, this year we'll have more cruise ship calls and more inaugural calls this particular vessel is the first of the inaugural calls we're expecting this year but of course as you know we'll have many many more it's quite a unique vessel what uh, are your first impressions yes it is it's, it's not the biggest that we'll welcome to gibraltar but it's one of those uh, more specialist vessels and i know that it travels um, on particularly adventure holidays, I know that we'll go to the Antarctic. It's you can see that it's a it's a new vessel. It's been uh, uh, modernised recently. It's a very comfortable one, and it's the kind of uh, passenger that we love to attract to Gibraltar. And for the best view on board, most of the time passengers are actually welcome on the bridge during voyages, as long, of course, as you don't touch anything. <laughs> 